Good morning guys, we have uh, some new leaks, the entire leaks for uh, the second pack that we are getting this Friday. So the reprint pack basically, Decade has already talked about this uh, reprint pack here and has made some predictions concerning the snake ice cards, which definitely makes sense. We can see this trend that cards that are in a selection pack in the shop currently um, do not really get hit by the bandits because you obviously want to still sell the pack. So there is definitely some merit to this. I think this is not a um, set in stone rule, so I think uh, there's can definitely happen that a card that is still in a selection pack gets a hit. Um, I think um, this is also not that uh, bad for Konami to do this. So if, for example, you wanted that spoiler alert is in here, or is it not? It is not, sorry, it's not in here, the Diabet Star, that it could get banned. I think this is not uh, too much of a reach. So we can see uh, some uh, normals, uh, still not quite sure. Guys, let me know in the comments. <laughs> what is this rarity? How is this called? It's not called normal, um, but I can't really figure out what this would be called. Um, and we can see stuff like the hidden armory uh, for uh, the Mikanko players. Um, there's emergency teleport, definitely nice because we can see there are also punk cards in here and uh, the emergency teleport definitely uh, gets together with them. That's quite nice. We have some not so interesting rares uh, down here and then actually effect Vela as an ultra rare, which is pretty, pretty nice. I think that reprint packs should definitely do this, um, have uh, some of hand, step, hand trap staples in them. Um, and we can see the effect value here that you can obviously, I think, also pull from an other pack or is it actually in any pack at all? I think actually it's not in a pack uh, where you can currently pull it from, so that's quite nice. Um, Having the ability to, if you want some specific stuff out of this pack, also get a nice hand trap that you can basically use in all the decks. This is quite nice. This is what, in my opinion, makes uh, a reprint pack, a very good reprint pack, a reprint pack that's worth investing in. Then we can see the formula synchron, which is not a big surprise. We have some synchro cards in here, but then we also have um, uh, snake eye cards in here, as we will see down further on the list. Uh, not interesting. We have jet synchron, makes sense together with formula synchron. They form uh, basically a pair, a synchro pair. Obviously, you're also playing them together in snake eyes, so that makes sense. We have uh, the complete uh, gamma package in here, which is also quite nice. Once again, giving us reprint of a hand trap, even though, and this has to be said, having a super rare. Uh, a reprint of something isn't really important because super rare resources are not the resources that currently or normally people are missing. Normally people are missing the ultra rare resources. So having an ultra rare reprint in here is way, way more important than having the super rare Psy frame gear gamma, but still nice. At least you can pull something useful from the pack and this is the most important thing. We have some normals. I will call them normals right now, but let me know in the comments if you know what this would be referred to. We have some rares here, not anything super Super interesting here obviously normals and rares you can just craft you have the psi frame not a lambda obviously together with this package here actually quite a nice card that gives you the ability to also activate uh, these cards like gamma and delta um epsilon is also is this the counter for a trap card ah this is the trap card counter okay i was aware of the delta being the spell card counter so this counters um monster effects this counters spells this counters traps um and uh, the lambda basically gives uh, you uh, the ability to also activate them when you have uh, cards on the field so obviously this is the big downside of these cards and the lambda plays around this we have uh infernoble knight uh, stuff in here the renault that's quite nice but i think as i already said if you want to get the infernoble knight deck or any other deck and you are missing super rares it's not uh, the the biggest problem because you can just craft them should normally have enough points and then we come to the more interesting stuff here we have the um the punk stuff in here all the punk super rares which is quite nice and then also we can quickly scroll down a bit more um two of the important punk ultra rares that is quite nice actually because you need the rising carp i think you play this at two and then you play one of the amazing dragon so that's quite nice. And what I like is um, when it comes to the super rares, if we really get the bulk of the super rares, right? So with Punk here, we have a lot of the Punk super rares. Then again, I have to say it is quite nice if we don't get like a single super rare, like in the case of Infernoble Knights here, which does not really make a big difference, but get a lot of super rares. Um, so you could definitely, if you want to play Punk as a, as an engine, you could go into this pack, pull from this and then get multiple super rares. Because if you can get multiple super rares, then obviously it starts to make sense. Then we are saving a lot of super rare points and then it definitely is not bad. So nice that we get a meta relevant archetype reprint in here. This is always important for good reprint packs. 
index. And then we can see, and where we have seen this before, uh, we have seen the right of Aramacy and also the water enchanters of the temple, I think, on the UR, on the ultra rare announcement cards. And we were wondering, is there a wandering griffin rider in here also? It is, and that's quite nice. So we have access to the complete adventurer engine that you can still play in some decks. Obviously, there are um, stronger engines at the moment, and we will get another super strong um, generic or quite generic engine with Fiendsmith in the future. So remains to uh, be seen how important the adventure engine still will be in a few months but definitely not a bad engine and now with the um i think the unlimitation of the water enchanters of the temple um this should be what's coming next i think this was on the ban list uh you can now get this complete engine in this pack which is also quite nice you can pull uh, for all of the three ultra rares which definitely makes it um, a good pull so as of right now, they are only really relevant ultra rares in here, and this is quite nice. This is what definitely needs to be delivered by a reprint pack. Nothing too special here, and then we um, have more punk stuff, the Deer Note, and then the last card for the Adventure Engine package, even though this is not really important, but obviously it belongs in here. So this is the cool thing about this pack. As of right now, there are only good ultra rares in here, so you can't really complain pulling any ultra rare. And then we can see that the complete Snaker Engine, and we will see this further down here, um, has basically be, uh, gotten, gotten a reprint. We have the Apple dragon which is not really played anywhere so this is the only strange card in here i would say that you really don't need to pull because it's not being played anywhere we can quickly check this out where is this card um, being played but you can see that we have a reprint of the entire snake engine and the diabetes stuff minus the wanted minus the bonfire um, and it, this is where Decade uh, made the theory that uh, we might see hits to a Wanted again, maybe Wanted going to Forbidden next time, or Bonfire. We could also see hits for Bonfire because they are not on this list thereby they are prone to being hit uh, by the ban list because they are not in an in an active pack this is the idea behind it otherwise you can see we basically um, have everything here we have the diabetes star we have the snake eyes flam birch dragon and um, this is for some reason not loading and we have the snake eyes poplar as well as the oss snake eyes poplar definitely a card that a lot of people thought uh, that would be a hit here but we can see it's in the pack here so that tells us that they will probably do nothing to this card um, it makes sense you would normally have to forbid it completely or put it to one to even have an impact by the way the ring worm just to quickly check you can see uh it's in bestial deck one straggling sword soul sometimes so it's not really um used uh, in a lot of decks but um we can tell that all in all there are very very good ultra rares in this pack <laughs> You will pull either very meta relevant uh, archetype engines or you will pull something like the effect vela as a hand trap so i have to say for a reprint pack this is definitely the best reprint pack that we have gotten so far i think um, the last one was also nice with the i think it was baron de fleur the lady labyrinth and other important stuff but there were also some strange cards in there and here i can say there are basically only good cards uh, in this pack so that definitely works in my opinion so if you want to play snake guys if you want to play fire king snake guys if you have not heard that more tomorrow is also fire king a release day if you are not sure what this deck does i have a video in the top right corner where you can go check this out by the way if you like my videos please consider subscribing hitting the thumbs up and the notification bell this helps me out a lot yeah we have the diabelster engineer the snake engine in here if you want to play this you can definitely go in here grab all the stuff just craft one wanted to just get free bonfires which at this per current point you can only i think this the, the bonfire pack is still in the shop but if it is not you will just have to craft the bonfires um but other than that you can basically get anything that you want or need for the archetype in here which is very very nice so for all the new players coming in wanting to play the fire king snake eye stuff you have two packs available now the fire king pack and then also this pack to get all your important staples basically so all in all i have to say and i will talk about this tomorrow obviously in the should you buy this pack video which will also then quickly go over this one but i will also be referring to this video i think all in all a very very good um, um reprint selection pack here that a lot of people can definitely pull important stuff from if you want the adventure engine it could be useful to pull from here because you need multiple of these you need one griffin rider you will have i think this goes to three three water enchantress and then i think you go one or two right of our armies here so definitely it makes sense to pull from here if you want the punk stuff i think every important punk ultra is in here actually um if i um if i'm not incorrect let me know in the comments but you can also go ahead and pull from here because you will also get the super rares and then if you want the diabel star uh, and snaker stuff you could also go ahead and pull from here because there are multiple important ones in here so um three mm, 
kind of meta relevant so a really meta relevant archetype and then two not that meta relevant archetypes in here that you can definitely go into here and pull from um, so i wouldn't uh, advise you to pull from here for example for punk if we would only have the deer node because then it, would, it wouldn't make any sense but with this uh, rarity variety distribution here definitely makes sense so definitely a good pack let me know in the comments what you think of this pack um, are you hyped for this reprint pack or do you think it's not necessary let me know and we will see each other in a later video uh, today and until then bye